Hello everyone, this is Amit Dan of AmitDan.com. If this is your first time here or a repeat visit, thank you for your support. On this channel, I'm always trying new and different ideas. If that is something you're interested in, please visit for more. If you're only interested in tea coffee videos, there will be links in the description box below. A few months ago, I made a video how to make Tim Hortons coffee at home, which seems to be doing very well. Uh, right now it is summer and temperatures are getting warmer uh, which decided to make me another video on Tim Hortons very popular item iced cap which is basically uh, iced coffee and in today's video I'll show you how to make iced coffee or ice cap at home with the ingredients you have here are all the ingredients you need and I'm just going to go over uh, them one by one and here is a little uh, index card with uh, the list or you know the proportion or portions of what you need to do uh, what i would say that don't worry about the ingredients too much the only thing you need to worry about is the tim hortons coffee uh, which is the you know uh, coffee uh, ground coffee or the instant coffee and i'm going to actually uh, show you both ways to make it so i'm going to use you know ground coffee to make using the coffee maker and i'm going to use uh, instant coffee just uh, with uh, with you know uh, boiled water to make uh, iced cap and the only thing you need to know, uh, worry is to have the Tim Hortons ground coffee or instant coffee and all other ingredients uh, I wouldn't worry about too much uh, you know uh, if you can get uh, okay but there's always you know alternate ingredients you can use so here the iced cap I'm doing today I'm going to use water about uh, four to five ounce and I'm going to use milk two to three ounce and sugar as you wish I'm going to use about uh, three cubes which it would be uh, 12 gram and then ice you know as you wish which I have it right here and uh, I'm not going to use too much ice uh, but it's up to you and I don't have any uh, anything to you know uh, crush ice or any uh, blender so I'm just going to like you know put uh, regular ice but if you prefer you can definitely you know blend ice and crush it and put it into it and uh, another thing I would like to point out that Tim Hortons uh, uses uh, skim milk uh, vanilla uh, flavoring and cane sugar uh, if you have them uh, that's fine if you don't have them that's okay too you know uh, the best uh, recipe and the best ingredients actually uh, using your common sense uh, you don't have to be perfect and the first time you may not you know make it very well but as you keep trying then definitely it's gonna get better and uh, you can actually always like you know uh, use more or less of everything based on your personal uh, preferences so I have 3.8 percent uh, milk but uh, as I mentioned that Tim Hortons uses uh, skim milk and I believe that if you ask them for other type of milk uh, they would you know uh, accommodate that, that as well but again not to worry and uh, I'm going to just like you know use uh, this cup which would be about four or five ounce and then the final product is going to be here which would be about eight ounce and you know I have some ice here and uh, the coffee I'm going to be using uh, uh, let's say two tablespoon for ground uh, ground coffee and I would use about uh, you know one and a half uh, tablespoon of uh, instant coffee and we're going to see you know how they come out uh, you know they may be okay or they may not be okay but you know it really doesn't matter I wouldn't worry about too much uh, let's see how it works so the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to just you know put uh, about four or five ounce uh, water in here to boil it and then in here to prepare the uh, ground coffee so let's get going so one thing you want to do is use very cold water which would bring up the uh, best tasting coffee or iced cap and try to run the water for a few seconds or even probably one minute to get very cold water so my water seems to be uh, very cold right now so I'm just going to uh, put it in the coffee machine and I'm going to put another uh, cup in the machine to boil the water so let's put it in here okay so I'll just leave this here and now I'm going to put coffee in here and I'm going to just like you know 
uh, put the sugar and milk later on in the glass once I finish preparing coffee actually I need to get another cup uh, so let me just you know take out another cup from my cupboard so we have another cup in here and what you want to do is uh, let's just get a coffee filter I use always this coffee filter for coffee uh, which you know gives you very uh, fine coffee and it filters away some bad ingredients or chemicals you might have in your coffee so let's take it out from here so here's about one tablespoon and I'm going to just I'm just going to put another like you know close to tablespoon of coffee and that should be for this and in this cup I'm going to put let's say one and a half tablespoon of instant coffee so here we have one and here we have another close to one so altogether we were you're we looking at about one and a half uh, tablespoon so let's close this one and the milk and the sugar I'm going to just put it in the glass later on I wouldn't worry about those right now so let's close the lid here and this cup is empty and I'm going to just you know uh, turn on the coffee machine and at the same time I'm going to turn on this uh, machine to boil the water so while doing this uh, if you wanted to make a regular Tim Hortons coffee at home you can definitely check out my uh, last Tim Hortons video and I'm going to put a description uh, a link in the description box below and uh, about making a iced cap at home if you're putting more you know uh, milk and it's gonna be creamier and more milky and if you're putting more sugar it's gonna be uh, you know more sugary so it really like you know all everything is up to you whether how you'd like to uh, make your ice cap so don't worry too much about like you know having the perfect ingredient or anything so the mixture or the ingredients I'm taking is going to kind of be a balanced uh, ice cap uh, coffee so it's going to be not too creamy not too sugary kind of somewhere in the middle but definitely you can put like you know more coffee more milk more sugar if you want it that way so what I showed you is just you know a kind of my common sense ingredient and again I mentioned that uh, if you want to come you know even more closer to the original Tim Hortons ice cap then you can switch for uh, switch to cane sugar vanilla extract and skim milk but these should be good enough uh, you know I wouldn't worry about too much about anything else so now both of them are actually heating up and the coffee machine is working and you can hear the water uh, so it should be you know good to go very shortly so I'm just going to put my hot water in here and then my coffee is going to be in here and then I'm going to just you know uh, put ice and milk in here and sugar and then I'm going to just you know switch everything in here so what I'll do in the meanwhile let's start with sugar and I'm going to just take one two three three cubes of sugar which is uh, right here so let's put this here and then I'm going to take another three cubes which about uh, 12 gram of sugar which is right here let's put this here and then I'm going to just take some milk and I'm going to put about two to three ounces of milk or you can say that you know one third of milk which is going to be right here so we can do that so at first I'm going to start with this and you know we'll see how it goes so here we have the milk and sugar and looks like this water is totally boiled and what I'm going to do I'm going to just you know put the uh, water in here to melt the instant coffee 
and you can see that so the reason I took a little bit more coffee because you know uh, is going to be diluted here and definitely you're going to you know lose uh, the strength of the coffee so that's why I took a little bit stronger or I made it a little bit stronger to put it in here so when I come up with the final product or final ice cap it's not too like you know uh, light because I, I would like a little bit you know strong coffee and this is dark roast coffee but you can use the like you know regular Tim Hortons flavor or they have Colombia or other flavors so it's totally up to you so now what I'm going to do let's just you know uh, steer this little bit and we have our coffee right here which is you know ground coffee and I'm going to put it here and now what I'm going to do let's just you know put some ice in here and then I'm going to just you know pour this in here so to start with I'm going to actually put two ice in here and then I'm going to put another two ice in here the reason I'm not putting ice in here and you know powering the coffee in here because I'm a little bit afraid that it might you know break the glass so let's like you know cool down the coffee here a little bit and then we're just going to you know pour it into here okay so Let's just, you know, put it in here right now. And let's just put it in here right now. So it looks like the glass didn't break. And what you can do right now, you can actually add even more ice because there's more room for ice. That's the reason, you know, I took lesser amount. So you have enough space for ice later on. So I'm going to just like, you know, put two more in here. And I'm going to put two more in here. So again, I don't have machine to you know blend ice or make crushed ice or blend everything together. But as I said, you know, don't worry too much about to be perfect. Uh, these are just like you know all common sense ingredient and common sense product. So everything should be okay here. And I'm going to just like you know power this a little bit more and see how it goes in here. So I'm going to just get a spoon. And you can see that ice is melting our ice has melted almost melted so now you have your product this is iced coffee instant and this is iced coffee uh, ground and I'm going to just test it to see how they came out and just give me a second here okay that one's okay uh, I like the taste of both of them but this one feels a little bit, you know, uh, darker or heavier, stronger coffee because I put a little bit too much. But you can definitely, you know, uh, take a little bit smaller amount than what I put in. And then here, this kind of, like, you know, tastes like a perfect cup of coffee. And let me just taste it again. And it's not too cold because I didn't put a lot of ice, but definitely you can put more ice up to here then you know definitely is going to be a perfect cup of iced coffee so that's how you make uh, world's best Tim Hortons iced cap at home so again don't worry too much about all the ingredients or having all the right thing uh, there's nothing right or wrong uh, you have to just use your common sense and you have to use you know what ingredients you have uh, I just used you know what I have at home and uh, here I came up with a perfect uh, cup of uh, world's best Tim Hortons ice cap so thank you for watching this video if you like what you see uh, I have more tea and coffee video in the description in the in the uh, description box below so definitely you can check them out and again uh, thank you for watching and thank you for your support I'll see you shortly thank you